Hi guys, this is Amy, and I have a quick card I'd like to show you. I'm, I made part of it, and I'm going to um, do the rest of it right here. And it is for a friend. Um, she's not real blingy and and uh, that type, uh, but she does like kind of cute, um, shabby, she kind of vintage things. So I little bit different for me. I don't have any sparkle or pearls or anything like that. But what I've done is i not sure. I think this is making memories paper. I've stitched the edges and distressed the edges with uh, brush corduroy and took my uh, Tim Holtz distress tool to the edges. Let me zoom out a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adhere this to the back of my card. And did you notice these ATG guns aren't the great greatest for lefties because you can't see the strip as well. But this is wondering if any of you lefties out there notice that. Okay, now my other base, um, I've stamped the background with a plaid stamp and used the, uh, my new Dynamics dies to layer this sentiment and it says, like a quilt, a friend will warm your body and comfort your soul. And I've attached it with mini brads, this background label, and then this one here is um, up on Pop Dots. And I put some trim along the bottom, so I'm going to adhere that to the card. Make sure that's centered. Okay, um, then I have, I used the stamp set, uh, what is this called? So special, and I love this one. Um, what I did is I cut out the little spool and wrapped it with baker's twine. Whoops. Let's show you that. I guess it's not focusing too well. So I'm going to adhere that. My glue gun is way over here, so adhere that in the top left corner. And then I put some um, glossy accents on this pin cushion and I took, I had some little tiny pins in my seam binding so I took those out and put those in and I'm gonna glue the back of that so that the pins won't slide out. Put a lot of glue on that. And that I think I'm going to put down here. And um, I took the scissors from that um, stamp set and I stamped the image with um, brush corduroy again. And I fussy cut inside the, the scissor handles. Um, I used my glass mat and my Fiskars. Um, little, I always have to put that on the right way, my Fiskars tiny cutter and cut out the inside. And then to finish it off so I wouldn't see any rough edges, I took my Copic marker in um, caramel and just ran it along the edges and it gives it a nice finished look. And then I put glossy accents on there. And I'm so impatient it's still tacky but I hate for things to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Not the greatest with a glue gun, so hopefully this glue comes out so fast. I think I'll put that right there. And um, I'm thinking I've, be, I've got these little resin roses which match there and I've got these little flowers this I just got from 
Etsy, so I'm deciding which one I like. Let's see. I think I'm going to put the resin right in the top middle. And how does that look? Maybe I won't put a flower. Maybe I'll just put one. Uh -huh. Maybe if I add more than one. Sorry about zooming in and out. I can't seem to get a good angle here. I'm going to cut these with my wire cutters. And let's see if I put, I kind of like that. I'm going to put two of those little flowers on each side. And I'm going to use, uh, leave the inside plain because I want to write her a note. So that is my card. Um, hope you like it. Thanks for watching and check back soon. Bye guys.